Just minutes now. Our dreams realized. Any last words? When there's a pillow in your mouth, you only speak in muffles. So I still can't think of anything. In a few short moments, the destruction of an entire franchise will take place as the result of Project Mayhem. I know this because Tyler knows this. This is a momentous occasion. Everything we've worked so hard for. Now you're probably wondering, what led us to where we are now? Allow me to start from the beginning. It had been months since I last slept. I was getting to the point where nothing seemed real for me. When you have insomnia, you're never fully awake, even though you can never sleep. Like this. I hate my job. I like what you've done here. Everything up to uh, section 11A, line 4F. And everything from pages 11B and on to be redone. Do you want me to deprioritize my current projects to make this my top priority? Would you do that, please? I wanted nothing more than to sleep. I started carrying a pillow with me wherever I went. One day at the park, I felt so close, as if today was finally going to be the day that I slept. And that's when she ruined it. What are you doing? Nothing, what are you doing? Look, this is my table. I need this. This is the only place I can sleep, so you need to find another one. I'm not moving, I'm staying right here. Look, there are plenty of other tables out there. Just let me have this one. I'm allowed to be here just as much as you are. I'm not gonna leave. Bye. I used to live in an apartment complex. The key word is used to. When you come home and realize there's been a volcanic blast in what used to be your apartment, it becomes clear that you need to find a new place to unwind for the night. Did you know that you can take a plain cotton field, manufacture the cotton, weave it into thread, Make a pillowcase. And then with that pillowcase, you can stuff it full of more cotton. And before you know it, you have a pillow. No, I did not know that. Thank you for the tip. So uh, why are you in a bar with a pillow? Don't really have any place to go. I came home tonight. Found out that my place just blew up. That's about all I got left. It's a bummer, man. It's a bummer. Yeah. I mean, all my stuff. I mean, I had... Sofa, nice stereo system, yeah. good TV. That's like terrible, just, man. I had clothes that were nice. I mean, nice. It's, it's all gone. Yeah. Lost everything. You know, it's all stuff. The things that you own end up owning you. This is how I met Tyler Durden. It's late. I should go find a hotel. Why don't you just ask, man? What are you talking about? After five pitchers of orange soda, you can't just ask me? Ask what? You need a place to stay, right? Your place just got uh, feathered, was that right? Yeah, I guess so. Would that be a problem? Is asking me a problem? Can I stay with you? Yeah, sure. One condition. What? You've got to hit me with that pillow as hard as you can. What? Hit, hit you with this? Before I lose that, my nerve. That's crazy. I'm not doing it. What's crazy? Like, how? what do you know about yourself until you've been in a fight? You sure about this? 
Let's do it. This is stupid. This... Okay, go. My ear! Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Right the, I mean, come on, the ear? I, I messed it up. I'm sorry. I that was perfect. Oh. That really hurt. Dude, hit me again. Really do this again sometime. All right, man, this is it. When I first entered Tyler's house, I didn't know what to expect, but I wasn't surprised. Half the rooms looked like they weren't even finished, and the place was practically empty, even though Tyler said he'd been living there for over a year. The stairs felt like they were closer to collapsing with each step. Tyler gave me the grand tour of what looked like the biggest dump I've ever been in. This is you. It's the bathroom, and I'm on the left. 